guys. I had a little extra time this morning, so I thought that I would take you along on my journey of trying a tip that I got from one of my very good friends and colleagues, um, Shannon Von Fleet. She is a Redken educator out of Illinois, and she is amazing. So uh, she gave us a tip on how to get really nice held curls for like bridal up styling and that sort of thing using mousse on dry hair. So I'm going to try that today and bring you guys along for the journey. So um, I have about 125 pieces of Dreamcatchers extensions in my hair as well. So I am going to prep it just a little bit. Um, all I did was use, uh, I used Orbe's Gold Lush shampoo and conditioner while I was in the shower and I haven't put anything on it yet. So um, all I'm going to be doing to prep my hair is adding just a little bit of, oh, sorry, pinstripe detangling heat protectant from r Co. Amazing. And then just kind of brush it through. And what's really unique about this tip is that you actually do it on dry hair. So that's why I'm taking you guys along on my journey. All right, so I just used the pin stripe, um, which is a detangling, heat protectant, thermal protectant, all that fun stuff from Art & Co. And then I'm also going to use Velvet Amplifier from Wella, which is really nice on the extensions and I use a very, very little bit. So if you're a client of mine and don't believe that I only use a pea size of product on my hair, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of run that through, run my brush through a little bit. I am going to quickly dry my hair and I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so I've finished drying my hair. Uh, so you can see it's nice and squeaky clean. And like I said, all I used was a little bit of the pinstripe by R & Co. And the, uh, the velvet amplifier from Willa. So... That's all that's on my hair and the extension hair as well. Um, so while I wait for my hot tools to warm up, I am going to use a little bit of the Grandiose Mousse by Orbe. Uh, I have their little travel size. And I am going to just use about golf ball size. And run it through my hair a bit and I know this is odd on dry hair but I am just going to run it through now I did use a heat protectant when I was drying my hair but the grandiose mousse also contains a heat protectant so it won't damage my hair when we start to curl so I'm just going to kind of keep brushing through until it's kind of dried in my hair as it's not safe to ever put a hot tool on damp hair. So we're going to let that kind of dry in a little bit. Okay, now that my hot tools are prepped and ready and the mousse is completely dry in my hair, um, I did take that opportunity to run and change into my dress for the day. So I'm multitasking. Um, so before I did that, I ran just about a golf ball size of the Grandiose Mousse by Orbe through my mid lengths and ends on dry hair. So here we go. I am also using about a two, it's about a one and a half, two inch iron by Ceramic Tools. And I always start in the back. So one thing I wanted to make clear about why I uh, told you guys that I have a bunch of extensions in my hair is because as a uh, young girl and before I went to cosmetology school, um, as most of you probably know, we saw people who had dream hair and had just the most gorgeous hair ever, and it was all fake. But I thought I was just unlucky and just came with not so great hair in life. So, all right, let's see. Let's see how our first curl turned out. It did take a rather large section, so, oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're finished. I've styled my whole hair. I used, like I said, the one and a half to two inch uh, ceramic tools, iron, and grandiose mousse on my dry hair. So I've let my curls cool now. So now's the most fun part. You get to shake it out. So just kind of run through. I literally do a little bit of that. I haven't sprayed on any kind of hairspray. I haven't done anything other than the grandiose mousse, other than my prep products, which were just the pinstripe from r and Co and the Velvet Amplifier from Lola. So I think I have bombshell hair, so I would say this is a win. Um, if you guys want more tips, you can always follow me on Instagram at Jamie Dowling Hair Artist, um, or you can visit my website anytime at www.hairbyjamie303.com. I'm also a, st a stylist now at Salon Denver, so you can call 303-458-9823 or visit salondenver.net to make your appointment with me. Look forward to seeing you guys later.